Happy Saturday, runners. Uh, November 23rd, and I am home after doing the Gilbert 10K, and I got this nice shiny medal. In fact, I got two medals. Third place in my age, 50 to 54. So totally excited. Um, as you know from the last video, I was looking to run 51.30. I would have been happy with. Um, but I had a really good day today. Uh, first, let me tell you, the, the weather was magnificent. It was in the upper 40s. Very slight breeze coming out of the uh, north. Um, it is a really flat course that is run on uh, pretty much a canal and um, some some sidewalk. Um, towards the end, there the last like six tenths of a mile, it's on the on the straight. But uh, the ground uh, on the dirt path really wasn't too bad. Um, you know, we did have a lot of rain. Uh, Tuesday through Thursday, uh, but uh, most of that <clears throat> was just, um, you know, soft. A um, couple puddles here and there. Uh, I didn't really have to, you know, jump over them or anything. There was uh, enough space around. So, um, yeah, it, it, it was it was good. Uh, my first Gilbert uh, 10K race, and uh, I definitely think that it's uh, a race that I will do again in the future. They also have a half marathon. So let's break down the race. Um, so I wanted to go into this race, uh, you know, falling somewhere like an 815 pace. Um, my 5K pace, well, my last race was slower. It was um, 803. And um, typically I'm about a 750 maybe a 755 uh, range. So as mentioned before, um, most of us, including myself, tend to run the 10K uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds per mile slower. So with that being said, yeah, I thought I would probably fall around 815, uh, maybe if I was slower, 820 pace. Well, uh, my first mile, I did that in 759, and uh, I felt good, but... Um, I knew that I should probably slow down a little bit and, um, and did so. Um, it was hovering right around like the, you know, 805 mark, 810. Um, when I got to, uh, the, the 5k split, um, I was at 2501. Ironically, uh, my second half was exactly the same. So I ran a perfectly even split race, which for me doesn't happen. I'm usually quicker on the first half and slower on the second. So that was, um, that was great. Um, when I crossed the line in 52, I'm sorry, 5002, um, yeah, I was, I was totally excited. With about a mile and a half to go, I knew that uh, I was going to be um, well under my 5130 mark. So I was excited about that. Um, I typically have a, a, a pretty good kick um, at, at the end. So I wasn't too concerned when I saw my pace starting to drop a little bit. I was running like an 820 pace um, on that last mile at times. Um, and I was really trying to focus on um, you know, staying at a consistent pace and getting good leg turnover. In fact, there was this older gentleman in front of me with about maybe a mile or so to go, and I kind of stayed on his right hip a few steps behind. Um, and then I was working on my, my, my strides, which when I looked at it was 177 when I was running, um, you know, a, a good clip of, uh, you know, 805, 810 pace. When I dipped down below that to say 173, uh, my pace was uh, was slower. So I was trying to keep the turnover higher, uh, so that was a good checks and balance for me. And uh, with uh, 
six tenths of a mile, we hit Gilbert Road and made a left. And it was just jam packed with spectators because there's uh, Gilbert Days and a Gilbert Parade going on. So the Gilbert Parade's on the right side and then the runners are on the left. Tons of people. I mean, it was just jam packed from that point all the way to the finish line. And the finish line seems like forever. It, it literally was more than half a mile, six tenths, um, really. So I had to dig deep. Um, I remember looking at my watch and I think at one point it said something like 48. 22 and so i was thinking well uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to run 50 minutes maybe um you know we'll, we'll see what happens possibly get under 49 and with a half mile to go i was struggling um i didn't want to push it hard but more or less i couldn't push it hard i was really out of breath so i kind of scaled it back a little bit and this guy um, ran by me, who I saw earlier on the course. And uh, I tried to stay with him a little bit, but I just couldn't get enough turnover. So I scaled it back because I know that I have a little bit of a kick at the end. And so I didn't want to ruin that moment. And with about uh, 200 meters, approximately, uh, I start to go. And uh, I passed him and a couple other runners and finished in... 50.02. So totally excited. Um, I checked the screen uh, for the results at the race and I took third place. Um, in fact, I'm looking at it now. It says third out of 20 uh, for age 50 to 54, which I'm excited about. Uh, I just turned 50 last month and I was actually thinking about it on the race. Uh, how cool would it be to be somewhere in 50 minutes um, for, for a 10K? And so I made that happen. But at the same time, when I found out my time, I was asking myself, could I run three seconds faster to get 49, 59? And the answer is always yes. And I probably could have. Um, but, you know, you're running at the mo in the moment and uh, you want to finish strong. So I think I did just that. And... and um, Saw my wife at the end. Um, she was thinking that I was going to finish around 50 40, so that's good. That's a lot quicker than I anticipated finishing. Um, I think my PR many decades ago is somewhere in the um, mid or yeah, 44 minutes um, and change. So this was good. It was a good race. A really, um, really nice course. It's Pancake flat really is very little turns in the 10k, and so one race that I think I will do um, towards the end of November. The weather out here is typically beautiful, and today was ideal conditions. Um, a little bit of a breeze out of the north, which I could actually feel uh, when I made that right turn going by um, Fremont uh, Park, just uh, like two tenths of a distance but you could definitely feel um, a little bit of a, a, a breeze. But other than that, if you like a flat course uh, on some softer uh, terrain, uh, that's definitely one to do. Um, they have uh, great support out there and uh, just a, a, a really fun day. Um, and it's a Saturday race too, which I, I like because I've got the rest of Saturday to enjoy and, uh, and, and the rest of the weekend. So... Anyways, that's a, a quick recap of the Gilbert 10K race. I'm very excited um, to have had a good race and uh, wish you all a, a good weekend. And until then, uh, we'll definitely um, bring you up to speed on, on the latest. Again, please be sure to, uh, if you like this uh, video, to hit the thumbs up and also to uh, subscribe down below um, to this page for current uploads as they happen. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great weekend.